Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a wacky weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next 10 days and this will be a big change from what we've seen over the past week with much warmer weather on our horizon feeling a little bit more like fall. We'll also be talking about a couple of storms that are on the horizon that could bring the threat for some very heavy rainfall perhaps some wintry precipitation like snow and maybe even some sleet and as well as the threat for some severe weather. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today, and we'll first begin with the Great Plains, which is very dry right now, and one of the biggest features that we have across the country is a high pressure system that is sitting right now down in parts of the southeast United States, and one thing about this high pressure system that's different from a lot of other ones that we've had recently is that it's actually keeping cold air across much of the southern tier of the United States, but one thing that it is very resemblant of is dry air so we really don't have any rain on going around this we have a clockwise spin as with any high pressure system that is your anti-cyclonic spin and one of the big things with this high pressure system for the next four to five days is that it's not going to really move much it's going to sit down in parts of the east coast of the united states keeping most of the great plains Midwest and as well as the East Coast dry all the way through at least Saturday. Things might change a little bit as we get closer to Sunday into Monday as we have a chance for maybe a clipper system or two in parts of the Midwest and we'll talk about more on that later in this forecast. Over in the Midwest, speaking of the Midwest, there is some cloud cover up there but nothing too crazy there. Overall very nice weather to be honest with you. Temperatures a little bit on the colder side but we'll start to warm up as we go into the weekend. Back over on the West Coast and then the Northwest United States right now a lot of cloud cover moving in. We have atmospheric rivers ongoing in the Pacific Ocean, multiple low pressure systems spinning around, bring some rainfall even to the Pacific Northwest, but overall that's going to continue for the next several days, and that's going to actually keep most of the United States in a pretty nice dry pattern, at least through the weekend. Things might start to change a little bit as we go into next week though, where more of these troughs will start to arrive as we head further into November. Now let's talk a bit more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next week or two, because things are going to change a little bit as we go into next week, but right now, the jet stream it's not really doing much. This is the jet stream across the United States in the upper levels and we actually have a pretty strong jet stream back up to the north. Also some strong upper level winds down in the south. That's your subtropical jet that's back down in Florida. But a couple of interesting features here that we are kind of not really noticing is that we do have a cutoff low back over south of California. Otherwise, there's really not much ongoing in the upper levels. So it's kind of almost pointless to look at this, you might think. But it actually gets a little bit interesting as we go into this weekend as we will be watching a trough in the upper levels across parts of the Midwest this actually won't be our big rainmaker, though, for early next week. We'll be watching a surface-based low-pressure system, which I'll show you later in this forecast. that will bring some rainfall to parts of the Midwest, but this will impact areas in the Northeast, this low-pressure system. It's overall not very strong. It's positively tilted. It might bring a little bit of rainfall to maybe the New England area as we go, maybe closer to Sunday to Monday, but again, it wouldn't be much. It'd be passing showers at best. Once we go into next week, things start to change a bit more, though, because we're going to be watching a couple of different areas. So a strong jet stream, this is a zonal jet stream, across much of the Midwest back through the West Coast. The one key thing with a zonal jet stream is usually things remain pretty calm and quiet. So that's what we're going to be seeing at least through early next week. But once we get closer to Wednesday and to Thursday, things might start to change a little bit, depending on if we get a strong low pressure system to start to develop and materialize even in the upper levels, we might start to see some more activity. So notice this low pressure system by late Wednesday to Thursday. We might get a low pressure system coming out of Canada going into mid to late next week. And if that does happen and it moves down to the south and east toward this jet stream, we actually could see a pretty potent trough develop, maybe bring some heavy rainfall, perhaps some wintry weather. But this is a really big question mark because we're talking about almost seven to eight days out from now. So things are bound to change, but this could be our next big storm. We kind of talked about this in yesterday's forecast where that might be the next big storm. Things are obviously going to change, so stay tuned, but that could bring some severe weather, maybe even some heavy snowfall. But again, it's a big question mark. We'll kind of talk about that a little bit more though in this forecast in just a minute or two. In terms of the temperatures across the United States, as of tonight, we have a lot of cold air mass remaining in the southern tier and the eastern tier of the United States. Not really any warm patches anywhere, the only exception being the west coast, where it's kind of hit or miss, depending on where you are. Uh, but once we go into this weekend, that's going to change. We're going to start to have a warm air mass start to return, and then eventually going to Monday into Tuesday, notice this huge area of warm weather will return to the southern tier, as well as the central plains, and back into the Midwest, and even some warmer air back over in parts of the Pacific Northwest, and as well 
as the southwest United States. So a couple areas to watch for. Once we go into Thursday and a Friday, we could even get a much warmer shot of air back over and potentially the Ohio Valley. And if that, that would basically be if we get that low pressure system out of Canada. If that does happen, we could be talking about the threat of record high temperatures in some areas as we get later into next week. A little comparison for you here, are the high temperatures for today. Notice 40s and 50s across the Midwest, even some 30s back over in the Northern Plains. This is by Monday of next week. Big change. We're going to be talking about the potential for temperatures back into the 50s, 60s, maybe even the 70s across the Midwest as we go into Monday. And also 80s, maybe even getting close to 90 in parts of Florida and as well as South Texas. So it will definitely be a bit warmer as we go into next week, even again approaching the potential for some record-breaking high temperatures. Now let's talk a bit more about the future radar across the United States for the next several days and all the way into next week. And as I mentioned before, we have a strong high pressure system at the surface that's over on the east coast of the United States, and that's overall impacting really all the Great Plains and as well as much of the Midwest for right now. Now as we get closer to Saturday and to Sunday, we will be watching a small clipper system across parts of really maybe the northern Ohio Valley, but more of the northeast. So New England might see a little bit of rainfall into Saturday. By the time we go into Sunday and into Monday, that is when be watching for our next surface based trough to bring some rainfall so by monday look at this area of rain we'll be talking about areas in the midwest for some moderate to heavy rainfall in some areas snow will stay north of the great lakes i think i don't think we're going to see this really trickle down into the really great lakes region at all if we see anything it would be really on the back side of this low pressure system and it would be very minimal we're talking minimal accumulation if that as we go closer to tuesday rainfall across parts of the northeast including new england stronger high pressure system by the way near 994 millibars by Wednesday, that high pressure system, by the way, at the surface is all the way back down to Florida. New low pressure system might develop as we get closer to Wednesday. That's contingent on that upper level disturbance coming out of Canada. That might bring some rainfall, maybe even some snow to parts of the northern plains. By the time we get to Thursday, again, things become pretty uncertain by this point, but we might get some showers and storms going, maybe a low end risk for severe weather. But as of right now, no significant severe weather days are really in our future. Here are the dew points across the United States for the next several days. Notice we'll have a more moisture pulling out of the Gulf of Mexico as we go into early next week and that's because of the strong southerly wind it's going to bring more humid air and as well as much warmer air to a large chunk of the Great Plains and as well as back through the Midwest once we go into Tuesday into Wednesday that kind of falls back down to the south and then as we get closer to Thursday if a low pressure system comes out of Canada then we'll be talking about the chance for some moisture back over in the Ohio Valley again that might lead to some severe weather but I'm not seeing any major severe weather outbreaks at this point rainfall over the next seven days it's not looking very promising, especially for those that desperately need it. Louisiana is in a serious drought right now, and there's no rain in the next seven days, unfortunately. Uh, back over in parts of the Midwest, we'll be watching for maybe an inch or two at most, but again, it's not really much. It's going to be a pretty dry next seven days. Unless you're in the Pacific Northwest, we could be talking about upwards of six to 12 plus inches of rain due to the atmospheric rivers. But simply put, that's just crazy. Make sure you're staying safe over there. There will be some significant flooding for sure right along the coastline, perhaps even a little bit more inland there in parts of Washington, Oregon, and as well as Northern California. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.